welcome back once again friend and recently in previous video we learned the general term of the geometric progression now here is a very simple problem related to the general term of the uh, geometric sequence right and here let me read the question find the ninth term and the general term of the progression that we have got here first term is our 1 by 4 second term is our minus half third term is 1 and the fourth term is minus 2 and so on right so here I can write that my first term is 1 by 4 my common ratio uh, I think uh, these two are easiest so that's why the succeeding term right over the preceding term fourth term is minus 2 and third term is 1 so our common ratio is now minus 2 here I took fourth term and third term why because uh, the fourth term and the second term uh, sorry fourth uh, four, four term and the third term is quite easier it looks easier right you can take any one you can take third term second term you can take first term second term any one you can take just it should be succeeding term the preceding term and we know that the common ratio is actually the uh, nth term divided by the a and minus one term succeeding term over the preceding term right so you can use any one don't confuse on that all right and we need to find out here ninth term and uh, recently we had learned the general term the general term of the geometric sequence is a times r to the power n minus 1 and here we are going to find out the ninth term so in the place of a n it will be a 9 right and first term again uh, let me write first term times the r to the power 9 minus 1 right so here it will be first term times the r to the power 8 and our first term is here 1 by 4 so in the place of first term I can now easily write 1 by 4 times r that's minus 2 to the power 8 right so it will be 1 by 4 times minus 2 8 times right so let me write 8 times 1 time 2 time 3 time 4 time 5 time 6 time 7 time and 8th time now what happens here you see here this is 2 right 2 times 2 that is 4 right and again this 2 and 2 will cancel out and we'll be left with 1 2 3 4 5 6 2 right so now see here 2 times 2 4 4 times 2 8 8 times 2 16 16 times 2 32 and 32 times 2 64 so we get here value 64 now let's talk about this minus and plus right uh, see how many minus are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 there are 8 minus right so 8 minus means that's the minus to the power and even number that is 8 is always a positive number right because we know that minus 1 to the power uh, odd number is minus 1 and minus 1 to the power even number is plus 1 so you can check in another way also simply see minus times minus that's plus right and then plus times minus that uh, plus times minus that's gonna be minus and again then minus times minus that gonna be plus and plus times minus that's gonna be minus and again minus times minus that's gonna be plus and plus times minus that's gonna be minus and minus times minus that's gonna be plus right so it is plus okay don't confuse in the minus simply I told you if minus has the power some even number that will be plus right and if minus has the power some odd number then it will be minus okay that's it and here minus has the power 8 that's even number that's why it's 64 we got our ninth term right ninth term as 64 right now we need to find out the general term what is the general term general term simply means the nth term right generalization of the term so our nth term is simply a times r to the power n minus 1 and our first term here we have got that's minus sorry 1 by 4 and r is our minus 2 to the power n minus 1 and we know one thing that 4 is you know minus 2 times minus 2 also 2 times 2 also right so here I'm going to write minus 2 times minus 2 because here it is minus 2 right so it will be now uh, 1 by 4 in the place of 4 I can write minus 2 to the power 2 times minus 2 to the power and minus 1 and now see base are same right 
this is also minus 2 this is also minus 2 and we have learned in algebra that x to the power m over x to the power n is equal with x to the power m minus n so see this and this so it will be now minus 2 to the power right m which is here and minus 1 this term minus this term that is minus 2 so it's gonna be minus 2 to the power n minus 3 this is our general term of the given sequence right this is our general term right like this you can easily find out if you want to check out then you can check it also right uh, let me put a value like n equals to 1 okay if I'll put value n equals to 1 then what I will get a1 that is our first term will be minus 2 this is minus 2 right minus 2 to the power n minus 1 that is 1 minus 3 that's gonna be minus 2 to the power minus 2 that is 1 divided by minus 2 times minus 2 it's twice so it's gonna be 1 by 4 we got the first term if you want to find out the third term then uh, you can find it easily right so let me write here minus 2 to the power 3 minus 3 that's gonna be minus 2 to the power 0 which is going to be 1 because we have learned that x to the power 0 equals 1 we got the third term also right and just match it here with our sequence what we have got first term is 1 by 4 and second term is a uh, third term is 1 so we got it right so this is our general term so I can say now this is our general term like this you can easily find out the any number of term or the general term we'll be doing more problem of the geometric sequence and I hope you understand this question and keep watching on we'll be solving a lot of problem that will give you a lot of concept in geometric sequence alright so we'll be meeting in the next video bye bye